this is what I determined to be uh, attractive. I would do her. Right, that's lovely. Should we get down to the game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, is it, I thought that was no, no. That, okay. Not, I thought we were drawing our ideal woman. Absolutely not. Welcome to How Well Do We Know Each Other. I feel like I know you a little better after that. Maybe. Thanks, Brian. We're going to need to blur that out, just to be clear, Craig. Sorry about that. Try and think of the best things about me. Yeah, I am. Okay, three, two, one, we're good. Okay. Misunderstood, sexual, strong. I, I got strong, confident, confident and funny. funny. I, completely, I think I'm funny, at least. I huh? think sexual, yeah. definitely. Tell you what good quality about you is. You're misunderstood, because everyone thinks you're a... <laughs> just writes itself. One, two, three. What did you go for? Creative. Match. Funny. Hilarious, I put, but... And sarcastic. Wow. I put loving as my third. <laughs> habits are like biting your nails, picking your nose. Those kind of habits are we talking about. I am going to say my worst habit is... <laughs> I put nitpicky bitch. So... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. They're both equally true. Got one straight away. Is that how you spell huge? <laughs> uh, just try to do a little emoji there. Ready? He makes me laugh. I put good sidekick. So this is it. <laughs> little huh? sidekick. Easy. English or not? Got you. No one ever taught me I could be creative because I was I was big and um, strong and uh, right. My grandma said, "Get a trade behind you, got a trade behind you, so you've got something to fall back on." Yeah. And guess what? Granddad, I haven't got a trade. I've got nothing to fall back on. I'm risking it all on YouTube, mother. She's technically a grandmother. Trade. I think I know what he wanted to be as a kid, but I can't remember. <laughs> I've, I've already written it. Ready? Astronaut. Actor. Uh, same thing if you believe the space program. Yeah. Huh? I also at one point wanted to be an archaeologist. <laughs> you are such a weird kid. I'm hoping this makes it onto a famous to birthday. I would have beat you up so quickly. Yeah, if you, you could have caught me, you fact. I want, anyway. I want, I, want, I want to be an archaeologist. People think that they're going to, you know, Jurassic Park this shit and bring back the dinosaurs. You're not bringing shit back. All you archaeologists out there, you're wasting your fucking life away. I know this one. Still follow her to this day on Instagram. There was one woman who began my journey in to ass worship. I've gone Lola Bunny or Cindy Crawford. Jennifer Lopez. Ah! Oh. Even if you were broke, my love, don't cast. So the problem with thing. Jennifer Lopez Ironically, is. Ironically, only dates billionaires. Yeah. This is it um, 20th anniversary? I'd already written it by the time he said this. Soprano. Bam! Weirdly that is good. satisfied. Yeah. Weirdly. I'm getting buzz off of this because I know that the other guys are f. Because we are actual friends, not just for the conveniency of views. Yeah. So I couldn't get views out of him. So. I'm a nobody. One. Shaped me as an adult. One. I don't know. Interesting. There's only one film that you've ever banged on to me that I can remember. Banged so. on. Action. What? What did you put? There we go. The other one was Space Jam. F off. So. Who the f has Space Jam in their top two movies? Oh. F off. Fuck Michael me. Jordan, Bugs Bonnet. Bunny, Lola Bunny, The Tasmanian Devil. Taz. Oh. There's two men who, are, who I'd want to have dinner with. Alive. Uh, dead or alive. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Biggie and Tupac. Tupac and Elvis. Oh! We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Can I... Can I list a few other people that I think Brian would like dinner with? Because I love you too much, baby. Love Tupac. Love Tupac. That's my guess. What was it? Kanye. Who'd you go for? John Lennon. Ah, oh, that would have been a really good one. He would be in your top five, let's be honest. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. I'm going to do my start around my main, if that's okay. okay. Here's something that Brian eats almost every week. Wasabi chicken. <laughs> Two, chicken tagliatelle. 
come on, the wasabi chicken, that's uh, your favourite meal. No, it isn't, man. Yeah, it is, you eat that just, every week. I, no, but I have it as a as a point of just, it's convenient. And no, I agree. Last meal, garlic prawns, and then a steak. I knew it was garlic something. If he says anything else, he's lying. One, two, three, teleport. <laughs> what did you put? Fly. I just wanted to be able to travel quick. I, I, I... <laughs> I love how Lawrence is like, no, I wouldn't fly. I wouldn't fly. You would love flying? I would love flying. Yeah, It'd love be amazing. The experience it. Yeah. And you're like, but maybe I'd get a little bored after a while. Yeah, I no. I just want to be able to go, Poof, right, I'm here. Yeah. Poof, jumper. Yeah. You've got to be a tough guy, but also extremely charismatic. You're looking at a handful of actors there, if that. Unfortunately, the rock. Nailed it. Are you f***ing kidding me? James <laughs> Corden. I tell you what, you want to hope. Now, I'll get to you before Robbie does, because it'll be a quick and painless death with I've me. Got, I've got someone that I think would be good for Brian. Goldberg? No! <laughs> Whoopi. I would love it if I, someone I goes, like Whoopi Goldberg! I feel like the funniest thing that's happening in this video is Bullwood thinking that uh, he wanted Whoopi Goldberg to play. What? In a Patrick Swayze type of way, where Whoopi Goldberg is channeled by me the entire time. <laughs> that would be so good. To watch to watch Whoopi Goldberg going, I'd f*** her in the In Newcastle. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin, really. <laughs> Probably. That's it, isn't it? I've been on Instagram lately, funny old thing, and judging by the females on, from these two places, if I had to move, it would be one of these two places. Recently, I've been like, what the f***? How many of them are all from there? It's mental. I put Brazil or Durham. Brazil and Australia. There you go, you see? Brazil and Australia. And you, you had a rant the other day about Australian women. You not, said they were so f beautiful. No, but so lately, Australia, you guys have just Step your game up. Is this a realistic one? Yeah. Very good. Off Boltwood. And no, it's not land on the moon. I know about the Van Allen radiation belt. And past the Van Allen radiation belt. Through the Van Allen radiation belt. Radiation belt. The Van Allen radiation belt. Through the Van Allen radiation belt. All right, mate. And give uh, it a rest, I'm, I'm going to put it broadly. Yeah. But my answer would be to direct a good documentary and that sort of stuff. Yeah. There you go. You told me about Kevin. I, I put Lawrence. Oh, I thought Kevin was your closest friend. You said Kevin because he's having a hard time with his wife. No, Lawrence is my closest friend. That's yeah, but you said I Kevin. Want. No, who I'm supposed to. Oh. Good friends. You're meant to go, don't touch me. <laughs> Do we know each other as well as we should? We should bone up on each other, as you said last night. We will see you again very soon on The XO. Thank you. Good night. Do you want them sort of comically big or is that... Does this answer your question? Wow, pendulous. Now, just tell me what stands out to you when you look at this. What stands out to you? To be honest, I've you? probably gone a bit overboard with the boobs. Uh, they don't need to be that big. They do. not But why not? I'm multi-talented. Yeah, in a way. Unlike some mm. people. Right. <laughs> <laughs>